Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as much as I did not want to film today, I just decided that maybe I should because the mood has just been a little bit down lately. Of course, as all of you guys know, the coronavirus is going around and it is not giving up anytime soon. So we can just try to be positive and I figured let me do what makes me a little bit happier, which is makeup. So I wanted to just do like a quick little get ready with me, just like coronavirus inspired because these days I have not been wearing any makeup so I just wanted to do something quick just to kind of make you feel a little bit better. So to get started I'm going to use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I'm just going to place that around my t-zone. Definitely make sure your hands are clean. I've been spraying them with rubbing alcohol and washing them constantly and they're literally like red and blistered because I've been washing them so much. So I don't have my brows done yet. I'm going to kind of do my makeup a little bit different just because this is kind of like a light makeup look. So I'm just going to put on foundation first and then I'll deal with my brows after. So since I want to keep things quite simple, I'm going to use this The Ordinary Serum Foundation. This is a really lightweight foundation and it's really affordable. I love The Ordinary. So I'm just going to place some of that onto this Hank and Henry damp beauty sponge. I'm just going to place some onto this part here. I washed it. It is just stained, but it's damp. It's nice and wet. And I'm just going to spray it directly. I'm just going to pounce that on my face. This is a super lightweight foundation. It's not, it's definitely like a light coverage. It could be buildable to medium. Wow. So I just want to keep things nice and dewy and simple just to give some color back into my skin. So as you guys can see, I am quite pale. I have not been self tanning. There's not a lot of sun right now, even though it's getting warmer in Toronto, which is super nice. I actually went outside the other day and just like sat on my terrace because I live in a condo. So it was really nice just to get some vitamin D, which is also another really important thing. foundation is actually really nice and it just makes your skin feel so dewy and it does give a pretty good coverage so I really really love that one it's like under seven dollars Canadian which is amazing so now I'm gonna go in with these ColourPop no filter concealers I'm gonna mix the two shades fair 08 and medium dark 38 just because I have these two shades and one is too dark for me and one is too light so I just want to mix them together I'm just gonna place a little bit you can see this one is super light a little bit of the darker one. I think I'll need a little bit more light actually because that dark one is pretty dark. Blend it a little bit like that. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with this wet beauty sponge. And I would love to know what you guys have been doing during this time. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys will see that I've been baking a lot. I've been reading a lot. I love to cook and bake, so that's just the oven is constantly going on in our house. I live with my sister Lisa and she also loves to cook and bake, so between the two of us, we always have the oven on or the stove on. I just find that cooking and baking is like so therapeutic for me. I love it. I've been doing it since as long as I can remember. I've just really just loved it. It's just something to take your mind off of things, especially with like all the crazy news and everything. I just find that I can just like zone out, listen to some music, listen to a podcast, and I really love it. So I would love to know what you guys have been doing to just like calm yourselves and distract yourselves during this time. Please leave it in the comment section. I want to know. We've also been watching a few Netflix shows. Me and my boyfriend actually binge watched Tiger King, which is absolutely crazy. It's so entertaining. So much happens in those seven episodes. We literally watched it in one day. I'm embarrassed to say that, but we put it on in the morning and we just like kept it going and we were just like so amused and just like <laughs> we were laughing so much because it's a crazy story. So I definitely recommend that if you guys need some entertainment. Tiger King, give it a watch, it's crazy. Okay, now just to set that concealer a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is their translucent one. I'm just gonna place that on my under eyes with this little powder puff and just lightly set it. And then we're also gonna just put some on my eyelids to make sure that they don't crease. Okay, so I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer, which is the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. It's just an amazing bronzer and I love the shade and everything, it blends out beautifully. I'm gonna put that on with this Morphe JH06 brush. One positive of not going out much has been that I haven't really been using heat on my hair. So I actually braided it last night and slept with like the braids in because I have curly hair and it can get really frizzy and a little bit crazy. It used to be more curly when I was younger, but I find that sleeping in braids really like calms it down, especially if I don't want to use heat on it. So that's actually a good trick for any of you guys who 
really don't want to use heat but you also don't want your hair to look crazy in the morning so i just recommend braiding it and then you'll have like cute little braided hair it's nice to just give our hair a break from heat products and also our face from makeup so i haven't literally been wearing makeup for like two weeks this is the first time i've done like a full face in the longest time then using a really thin pencil brush i'm going to go back into the ColourPop concealer in the shade fair 08 i'm just going to place them on the tip and bridge of my nose just to highlight it a bit and give it some definition then i just blend the concealer out with my finger as i go then i'm going to take some highlight this is the sleek makeup little quad it's called their solstice palette and i love this shade in particular here to highlight this used to be like all the rage years ago so i'm going to take a little bit of this really bright champagne shade and i'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes my nose my cheekbones a little bit I love using the shade when I'm pale because it is so bright. I'm kind of doing my makeup like a little all over the place because I usually put blush first and then highlight. But we'll just do some highlight first. So I'm using that same shade that we used. And I didn't do my brows yet, but we will do that soon. I'm just going to do them super quick and easy so i'll show you guys just a quick way that i do my brows now to add a little bit of color to my face i'm going to use this hank and henry blush it is their cream blush stick formula and this color i'm just like obsessed with it i wish this was actually in a powder form because i prefer using powder blushes and i'm obsessed with this shade here it looks like the perfect like tangerine shade it's actually called tange tange so it's really beautiful it's just like perfect coral tangerine i'm just gonna pounce that on my face and then try to blend it out with a little bit of a stippling brush. So this shade is just so beautiful, I love it. It's like the perfect like summer, spring shade, it's beautiful. So since I didn't really put powder on my face, it's good to use cream blush because you don't want to like layer powder and then put cream blush and then blend it, it could get a little bit cakey. I'm gonna use this little stipple brush here. This is a Morphe M4 36 brush. I'm just like pouncing that. I'm not like dragging it. I'm just more like pouncing it on the face. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter on top of that just because I feel like we kind of took away some. I'm just taking a big blending brush. I'm just gonna go back in with that bronzer and I'm just gonna roughly place it in my crease just to give it a little bit of definition. I want to keep my brows super simple, so I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline Brow Fast Sculp Mascara Gel. This is in the shade 255 Soft Brown, and as you can see, there's some product on there that will keep your brows nice and lifted and also gives it a little bit of color. So I'm just going to start in the front here and just kind of lift those brow hairs up just to give them that feathered look a little bit. As you can see, I do still have a lot of my brow hairs left, even though I used to pluck them so much when I was younger, but I've let them grow in. So I'm fortunate that I have quite a bit of brow hairs, but I still do like to fill them in a little bit. I'm just gonna add a couple of natural brush strokes to my brows. I'm gonna go in with this Benefit product. This is their Cabrow Cream Gel Brow. This is in the shade called Three, so it's a really nice, soft, light brown. I'm gonna go with a thin angled brush. I'm just gonna place some like hair-like brush strokes just where I feel like I need a little bit of help where like things are more sparse. I'm just gonna quickly do that and I can zoom you guys in so you guys will see better. Now that we have the hairs lifted, I'm just gonna go in with that angled brush. I'm just gonna place just literally a couple of brush strokes like that to make it look like it's hair. You can see how easy that is. It's super quick and I feel like it looks natural enough. I'm literally just leaving it like that. I don't want to do anything crazy. I just want this look to be super natural and quick, of course. Okay, now I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use this Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is just in the shade called Blackest Black. I'm just going to place some mascara. No false lashes today. Just a little bit of mascara to make those lashes come alive again. I'm also going to place some on the bottom lashes as well. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the lips simple as well. I'm gonna go in with this Essence Stay 8-Hour Lip Liner. This is in the shade called Cosnova, and it's just a really beautiful 
kind of like mauve pink shade. So I'm just gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop. This is their Velvet Luxe lipsticks and this is in the shade called Genie. So it kind of matches my lip liner. It's like a really nice mauve pinky rose shade. So it's super pretty. And these are really nice because they're pretty much like liquid lipsticks. But they're not like matte. They just kind of stay matte on your lips and look like powdery, which is really pretty. Okay guys, so that is my quick little get ready with me for the day, coronavirus edition. Obviously this makeup look can be done anytime. It's just a super quick, simple, easy look when you don't wanna like go crazy, but you still wanna feel kind of nice. <laughs> It's just a super quick, easy look that you could honestly just pull together in like 10 minutes and then you kind of feel a little bit better. At least I know that I do considering I have not worn makeup in so long and I was just starting to feel like blah. I literally did not want to do anything. I didn't want to film, but I just like made myself. I was like, let me just film, get ready and hopefully be in better spirits. And honestly, I think this did help because I'm starting to feel like myself a little bit again because just being at home in pajamas all day and not really doing much knowing that we can't really go out. We just knowing that the weather outside is getting warmer the sun has been coming out which has been nice so we've been trying to just go on walks of course keeping our distance from people it's funny that now when you walk you see like people go on the sidewalk everyone just has to keep their space which is super important and of course if you're feeling sick do not leave your house no matter what and, and we just have to keep our distance right now and hopefully we'll be able to enjoy the summer back to normal so let's just all try to keep our spirits up and I hope that you guys are all staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video and love you guys so much. Bye!